What's up, everybody? My name is Chris, and in this video, I want to talk about the program called Color Final LUTs. This is a program that is specifically interesting for people who are working with something like Premiere Pro, Final Cut, or DaVinci Resolve, and use LUTs a lot. But before we jump in, the company behind Color Final LUTs reached out to me and sent me a review copy of their program so that I can test it out. And this is a program that is applicable to people who are using DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, or Premiere Pro, and it is overall a program basically to manage and preview your LUTs for your video creations. Now, the main reason why I think that that is actually quite powerful and useful is that at least in Premiere Pro, it is not possible to preview all of your LUTs, or at least many of your LUTs, at the same time without having to go through multiple steps every single time. Now, this might be different in programs like DaVinci Resolve, which are more made for the purpose of color grading, or that's where they had their origin. However, this program will help you do that with Final Cut and Premiere Pro as well. And if you are a passionate user of DaVinci Resolve and you think that everybody should just color grade their work in there, I would say that this type of program is still very much helpful because People don't necessarily want to jump over to DaVinci Resolve just for the color grading. At least I don't, especially in the most projects that I just do for here for YouTube. The creative, maybe in more involved documentary type work or feature films, I would also have a more involved process for all of that. However, for many projects, I just want to stick to Premiere Pro because it is the environment that I know and like. And so with that, let's jump in and see where the limitations are and what parts the Color Final LUTs program will actually give you. Now, first up, we have Premiere Pro open. And if you are a user of Premiere Pro, you know that you can use your input LUTs as well as creative LUTs in the Lumetri Color panel. And that is already a really powerful thing. However, it is also kind of limited. Now you can see that these here are all not in log profile. So I'm not going to have examples where I need to use a input LUT. However, if I wanted to, I could use one right here. For example, if I were to use the Canon EOS R and the C lock there, I have a set of C lock presets or LUTs that I really enjoy using for that purpose. And then I would assign one right here as a input LUT. Now, if I want to do more of the creative work with LUTs and there, I do have a full collection of VSCO cam LUTs and those are really enjoyable, especially those old film looks that I have here, which are usually used in something like Lightroom for doing more of a photo edit work. However, you can also use these on video. However, as you can see, you can only see the names of all of these LUTs without actually seeing how they look. Now I can of course select this and then you can see that it updates right there into the shot and makes it a different look. And then I can also cycle through these by using the arrows right here. Again, not really very helpful because this actually started right from the top and not the one that is currently selected. I can go through all of these, look at these and then also click on it and with that apply this specific creative lot. Now, I don't think that that is necessarily the best way to manage LUTs and preview them because you would have to go through a whole bunch of steps to actually preview all of the different things and then work with them. Now, the much better solution for that would be a panel where you can actually preview all of the different LUTs and styles for you to basically pick and choose and maybe even organize your favorites so that you can then show those to your client or your other people that are involved in the project. And that is exactly where Color Final LUTs comes in. This program is literally made for the purpose of previewing LUTs and it actually pulls in all of the different LUTs from different programs that you might have installed. In my case, for example, I already have all of the LUTs that are installed in Premiere Pro available, the camera LUTs as well as the creative LUTs. And also, as you can see, I then can take screenshots or exported frames and put them into this comparison. And there I can actually choose between a single view for just one or a double as well as quad view so that you can preview all of this. Now I can of course also go and jump into full frame mode. And now the things you can do here is you can manage your LUTs based on the applications. You have the comparison views right here. And then down below, you also have all of the different LUTs that are already loaded based on the selection that you have made here. In this case, all of the Premiere Pro LUTs are available down here 
as a preview. And this is actually something you can also expand. So you can actually make this the whole window so that you don't have the comparison view and instead you see all of your lots. Then you also have the availability to make these bigger. So you actually see all of your lots and those styles of video and color. And now if I bring it back a little bit, you can also select all of them to be square and basically just being a little bit bigger for the center frame. Now, I personally prefer to see the whole frame and with that, the whole style of the whole image. And then I also would go and look at the comparison view. Now, what you can do here is you can essentially drag and drop the different styles onto these windows so that you have different styles available and you can keep comparing them in this comparison view. And of course, you can also make that full screen so that you actually see all of those bigger and better so that you have a better understanding of what is going on here. You can even go in and mix the LUT. So you can actually decide how harsh the LUT should be applied with 50% or 100%. And if you're wondering whether or not you can do input LUTs, that is also a possibility. If you, for example, find this one, and this would be, for example, your LUT conversion for the log to rec 709, then you could just right click this and select it as the use as input LUT. Now, if I do that, you can see all of these turn gray or black and white because I selected a input LUT, which essentially makes all of the other LUTs work after that. So it immediately also updated all of the different previews that I have here and made all of them a black and white. And then of course also updated all of the different previews at the top right here. Now, something I have not found yet is how to use a different input lot on the different preview boxes right here. However, I also don't think that that necessarily would be a uh, interesting idea because usually you have one conversion that is the input lot and then you work with that. Then if you want to check or change the color space, you can also do that and choose between these HLG as well as the Rec 709 and so on the modes. You can bypass the input LUT so that you can see how it would look without that. And then you can of course choose whether or not it would be applied and can turn that on and off essentially for all of them. And of course also remove it. Now, if you are building a collection of different looks for a specific scene or maybe a specific project, then you can also organize those in collections, which I find really cool. Here, for example, I can choose the favorites and then I see all of the favorites right there and to select them, I would go in and select the applications first. Then there's this little button right there for a split view and then this splits it open and then I can select the right hand side, click on the favorites collection which I created here and then I have those available as well and of course also can drag and drop those in. And if I find a lot right here, if I for example like this a lot, and I wanna put it up in the top, then I can do that. And I can also move it over into this favorites collection. And now I have all of those there ready to go and ready to preview for, for example, a client. And I can then just show them the different styles that are available chosen for that particular project. Now, of course, if you know the names of all of your LUTs or you wanna search for a specific LUT naming convention, then you can also do that. You have a sorting, which you can choose and of course also the search so that for example, if you want to get all the black and white lots, then you could for example, enter B and W, hit enter twice in this case. And then in this case, the favorites only has one black and white lot that is ready to go. If you clear that to show all of them again, there's this button and with that, we are basically through this particular part of the interface. But of course, you also want to be able to choose which kind of photos or screenshots out of your creation you want to use as the preview. And for that, you have this section right here at the top where you can choose the images. And here, it actually gives you the option to include the photos which are available from Mac OS. However, you can also import your own pictures. In this case, I have a couple of them here from the Audubon. This is one of my in-studio test recordings and a other test recording. And then we have yoga poses that Nicole and I filmed in the park. And with that, you can actually just move through these and check how these different LUTs would be working with different scenes of, for example, your project that you're working on. Something else you can do here is you can actually also import a video. However, with video, it is not actually loading the video, but if you select that for import, 
you get to choose which frame you would like to import into this project. Now I wanna maybe use this one and then I can say use frame and then that is imported into the project and you can still edit this when adding a new frame with the little button right there so that you can actually choose different frames from the same video clip. And lastly, I also wanna mention that you can zoom into your shots. So for example, displaying all of them at 100%. And if you move this around, then all of the different previews would be moving around. So you can also take a very close look at everything. You can even go further and zoom into up to 300% to check your composition, coloring, and all of that in the details for the shadows, for example, and those kind of things, how the dynamic range worked on your particular shot. Now, I don't think that Color Final LUTs is a program that everybody needs who is working with video. However, if you do find yourself working with many different LUTs on many different projects, and you want to be able to match those scenes or create those environments and choose different styles for different projects, then I think that this is a really powerful project management or LUT management tool so that you can create those styles and of course, if you have different parties that are involved in the choosing of a certain style for your project, then this can also be really powerful because it gives you a way better experience in terms of collecting those collections of different LUTs so that you can showcase those for the different styles that you're going for in different scenes of your work. Now, I wanna also mention that I found a couple of things that are not necessarily as polished as I would like them to be with this particular program. Sometimes I would like to drag and drop something into a specific area and it just doesn't perform or work as I would expect it personally. However, I also know from communication with the creators of Color Final Lots that they are working on a newer version of this, which should be a major upgrade. So it seems they have something in store for us and I think that based on the work that they already provided here with the look of the program, the feel and how it performs, that is a great baseline to start with and improving up on that, I can just say absolutely that will make this more usable. And of course, having a more feature rich or more easy to use and intuitive to use program is always better. Now in terms of pricing, as of making this video, this program costs 15 US dollars in the Mac App Store. I saw it for 10 euros. And if you wanna get it with additional lots, then you can also do that on the website of Color Final LUTs, and I will link that in the description down below. I think it's a great buy for the person that needs it and wants to work with more of the previewing of your LUTs and just developing those scenes. I think for that, it is absolutely a game changer. If you're someone who is just choosing a LUT every now and then, then I think your interfaces of the different programs are going to be good enough, and this is not necessarily for you. Now, if this video was helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And with that, I hope you have a great day, make it your life, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.